Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a French horn in my shop right now. It's an older one and it has this right here, this extra tubing. Sometimes you see one of these on older single horns. What it is is an E flat tuning slide. It puts it from the key of F to the key of E flat. What you do is pull out the F tuning slide and then you put in the E flat tuning slide. Then you're in the key of E flat but you also need to pull out the tuning slides a little bit to keep it in tune. You pull out the slide and there's a little line right there. I'll bring that closer so you can see it. There's a little line etched into the tuning slide and that's approximately where you're supposed to pull it out to. And the second valve slide has one too but you don't pull it out as much. And the third slide right there and that will approximately keep you in tune. You may need to pull it out a little bit more to keep in tune and you can just uh, sit down with a tuner and figure that out. In case if you're wondering why they even have the E flat slide for the old French horns, that's because a lot of the old marches were written in the key of E flat. So if you're playing a piece written in the key of E flat, you can just switch the tuning slide out and you can play it uh, without transposing. The reason they don't do this much anymore is because it's standard for the French horn parts to be written in the key of, key of F instead of E flat. Another thing to look out for is some French horns in the key of F have a tuning slide that looks like this with the extra loop in it and then they have an E flat tuning slide with two loops on it. So you may look at the French horn and see the loop in the tuning slide and think it's in the key of E flat, but it's not. It's really in the key of F. A lot of older French horns do not have the E flat tuning slide. It's been lost or thrown out over the years. So often you'll see the spot in the case for it, but no E flat tuning slide there. I hope this video has been helpful and maybe solved a mystery for you. Please feel free to subscribe for some more band instrument repair videos.